All right, guys, it's spring. Let's talk about spring cleaning and tank maintenance. Obviously, we had washes over the winter, but it's not as frequent as it is in the summer and springtime. So let's think about all that buildup inside of our tanks. Let's get that cleaned up so that we're prepared for the year ahead and the busy season. So first thing we're going to look at is just our holding tanks in general, right? Our holding tanks in general, this is where we're bringing our soap in through the hydro minder, mixing it down so it can go down into the pump and come out of our high pressure guns. Inside these tanks, uh, over time, you're going to build up a bunch of soap scum, maybe some debris, anything like that that's going to build up. We have a couple things to think about. We have our basket strainer that's down inside there. Is that covered up with soap scum? Are we limiting how much of that mixture can make it to the pump? Are we stressing our pump out itself by not allowing enough fluid into that pump head to provide the customer with the show that they're looking for? So let's, let's break that down and look at what the steps are to ensure that we're running a clean system and giving the customer what they're paying for so that they come back every time with no complaints. So first thing we're going to do is just shut off that bottom valve. Now not all tanks are going to have these bottom valves. If your tank has a bottom, if your tank feeds your pump through the bottom and you do not have a valve, I would absolutely recommend that you put that valve in there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shut this valve down and then we're going to undo the hose clamp. Now you can see here that I don't have any swivels underneath this valve either. Now I've already taken the liberty of putting swivels in on the rest of these tanks uh, that I've cleaned here so far just to make this job even easier. Instead of undoing the hose clamp and worrying about the barb ripping the hose, we can just undo that swivel quickly and pop that apart. So then we're going to make sure that we shut our water supply off to the hydrominder behind the head and then we're going to pull this tank out. Now look at all that soap scum in there guys. It doesn't take long for that to build up and it doesn't take long to get in there and foul your cap pump heads, uh, valves up or limit the amount of water making it to that head and then end up giving you premature failure on, on those seals. All right guys, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that basket strainer off and you can see how clogged up that is and how smashed in that is, right? Now that could be smashed in due to the pump pulling a vacuum on that and making that degrade and down inside there is just full, full of soap scum. We'll come back to that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this tank out. So just a little water in there and I like to take a scotch bright and just clean it like you're cleaning dishes. This is a very lackluster job but a job that needs done. And you always want to do inside and out. You can try to clean these strainers out, these basket strainers out. I don't really recommend using your high pressure to clean that out because of damaging that screen and closing those holes up on that fine mesh. And that didn't turn out too bad. If it was bad enough or if the screen was ripped, I'd right away put a new one in. But I think this one's gonna be all right. So we're gonna pop that back in. All right, and we're ready to put the tank back in its place and check our hydro minder. So like I said, we're gonna put those swivels in below those valves. Again, if you do not have valves on the bottom of these tanks, you're gonna to wanna to add that and as well as adding this swivel. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. The last thing to think about before we put this tank back in is, is, is the area where the tank sits clean so we know we're not gonna get any debris inside of our tank and is the hydro minder feed tube 
and weight clean as well, right? We just cleaned all the soap scum out of the tank. We don't want to put these parts back inside that clean tank with the soap scum on them. So I'm just going to go ahead, again, take that Scotch Brite, and that soap scum just comes right off of that plastic hose. Same thing here with that Hydraminder weight. Clean equipment is a better functioning piece of equipment. So just a wet rag after that. Wipe all that off. Make sure that looks good and clean. All right, guys. Now we're gonna pop this back up in place. Now that we have the tank back in place, we're gonna connect our hose right to our swivel. Easy peasy. Make sure our product tube is in place. This is a good, this is a good time to check that metering tip as well. This is a spring cleaning 101, guys. We're making sure that we're getting enough product through that metering tip to ensure the customer is getting what they're paying for and that we're not wasting any unnecessary chemical. All right, guys, so the last step, we're gonna click this Hydraminder back on, turning the valve on behind the Hydraminder head itself. And the last thing we're gonna look at is our fill level. Do we like our fill level? Do we feel like it's high enough? And when we see the mixture, do we feel like that mixture is at the right consistency? Are we mixing at the right ratio? I always refer back to the product's suggested uh, mix ratio. So that's always the place to start. If you want a little more, obviously you can bump up or you can bump back down. Now you can see our Hydraminder shut off and I like that fill level on that tank. I know that's enough water to keep that pump fed when the customer's using the system. All right guys, so that's gonna finish up the service for both sets of tanks that we got going on here today, our strainers, foot valves, Hydraminder uh, ratio tips, and just checking those Hydraminder levels to get us ready to keep moving and rocking and rolling. If you guys have any ideas for videos or you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Let us know what you're looking for. Thanks.